Hello and happy fake Monday. Yesterday was bank holiday so today is actually Tuesday and we're on renovation week 11. I'm currently standing in the guest bedroom and it's been painted, not completely. This is just the mist coat on top of the fresh plaster. I mentioned at the end of my last video that we've asked our neighbor who's a painter and decorator to do some painting for us and we've just turned up at the house and he's not here which is a bit worrying because he's meant to be working at this time but in fact this is actually my second time at the house today I came earlier to drop off the keys for the neighbour because he will come as soon as he's finished work to start the painting and he wanted his own set of keys which is fine and um, also just to chat to the builders because they've been doing stuff in the bathroom so while I was dropping off the keys the builder said to me can you get the guy to paint the downstairs toilet because the radiator's going up in it tomorrow and of course the final coat for that was in the boot of our car so we had to go and bring it but also that's the chalk wash paint that I've been talking about so I just wanted to come and see him here while he's at the house just to show him how to apply it and stuff and just see if he's familiar with it but just he's definitely been today what? because this wasn't here what? earlier this thing paddle mixer thing Oh, it's left in. I think maybe he's done one coat and he's waiting for it to dry. Yeah, I won't touch it. We should check the downstairs oh, toilet see if started on that. Watch your back. Yeah, I'm worried about this lot, you see. Anyway, so the mist coat has been done in this box room. Oh, it's not going to focus. <laughs> so he hasn't done the back bit, but I think he needs to undo... Oh God, he definitely needs to undo this cork that I've done because it's terrible. It's a really bad job. It's funny though because we asked him what he thinks of this and this is the painter decorator by the way and he's like oh this is really good this is terrible and I was like yeah I did this <laughs> the builder did this so obviously he was happy with that but that's quite funny isn't it oh my god look my shower tray's in I'm so happy it's black and this is where the recesses are going and I might have mentioned in another video I'm not sure because I can't really remember what I say and also I can't remember which bits I cut out of my videos but um we have the knobs to turn the shower on a bit further away from where the shower head will be just so that you can turn the shower on without getting splashed once the water starts running and then you can walk in properly and so yeah that was kind of the plan and um the builder was a bit like rolling his eyes when I mentioned it because I think it's a lot more work for them to obviously bring all these pipes and stuff out here rather than having them ordinarily on this back wall like most people have I guess but I just think it's quite a nice little touch just to have them a bit to the side and so one other thing if I can get in here my statement tiles were actually going to go on this back wall here but the guys that are tiling our bathroom came around a couple of days ago with the builder and they said that there'll be a lot of wastage because of these two recesses and we do have enough tiles but first there'll be a lot of wastage but also it just won't look right in the recesses because of the shape of my lily pad tiles they're not square or rectangular so they suggest putting them on this back wall so unfortunately i haven't got enough which is really annoying actually because i wish the builder would have checked beforehand because these tiles actually come from italy and i have to pay delivery on them and when i first bought them they had a 20 percent off sale and it's just my luck that today is the 1st of June and their 20% off sale ended yesterday. Literally yesterday. So he called me, but all the stockists are closed on bank holiday Monday. In fact, they're closed on Sunday and Monday. So I was a bit annoyed about that. So I'm definitely gonna have to order one more square meter, but I'm not gonna do it until the tiles start because I said, look, just make sure it is one more. Oh. So I said, just make sure it is one more square meter because if you say one now and then they turn around and say, you need another square meter, I have to pay the delivery three times if you see what I mean. So that's a bit frustrating, but I don't know where this guy is. He's meant to be painting. I just don't understand where he's disappeared to. Also, I don't think I've shown you this before, but this is obviously up into our loft. We had originally asked for them to install a loft ladder, but because the space is quite small and the hallway is virtually non-existent, that's gonna be a lot of work for them to do. And it's just easier for us just to not do it, to be honest. So we're gonna leave it as it is because I think they'd have to take off this whole ceiling and rebuild it all with a loft ladder. And I mean, how often do people go up into their lofts anyway? 
I certainly won't be. <laughs> Even the builder was saying he hates like going up on ladders and yeah, I can fully sympathise because I do too. In fact, neither of us have been into the loft since we've had the keys and apparently there's some suitcases and stuff up there. So hopefully someone's left like a big pile of cash hidden up there. <laughs> that would be amazing, <laughs> but I highly doubt it. Oh my God, summer has most definitely arrived in London. It is 28 degrees today. It's actually my birthday today as well, which I keep forgetting, but I've had a very busy morning. I went to get a pedicure first thing, you know, priorities and all that, and now I'm off to the house. I've actually got a cart full of stuff. I thought I should just come out and check while I was in the middle of vlogging, but I've got all my lights here because the electrician's at the house today. I've got a coat rack, I've got some painting supplies, I've got some stuff for the downstairs toilet, a few extra tiles, some light bulbs, all of this fun stuff. So I'm going to have to ask the builder or the electrician to help me out. I had to do three trips to the car just now to load it, but yeah, I'm on my way to the house. I woke up with terrible skin. I don't know what's going on, but maybe it's a heat rash. Maybe it's a reaction to a new SPF that I'm using. I don't know, but I'm very, very sweaty. So I'm gonna drive to the house and just see what the guy that was painting last night has done as well. Cause I think, I think we're gonna have to keep an eye on him. I thought my neighbor was watching me, but I think we're gonna have to keep an eye on him. Cause I'm not a hundred percent sure that he understands exactly what we want. And I think it's just gonna have to be a case of us going every day just to check that he's done what he's supposed to do and make sure the builder tells me what he needs done the next day so I can tell the painter and just like communicate with everybody properly. So I'm gonna go and check it out, drop these bits off and then I'm gonna come home. I don't know how long I'll be at the house for today, but I'm very excited because I think the tiles are happening tomorrow or Friday which is great so I cannot wait to see what they look like I need to pick up a few more but I think that might be sometime this week <sighs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you <laughs> What a productive day. It's Thursday today. Is it Thursday? Jess has got the day off and um, we went to home base. Basically bought all of our paint for all the bedrooms and a bit for downstairs as well. Farrow and Ball had um, a buy one get one half price sale on so we got really lucky with that. And then we've just come to buy some more grout for the tiles. We had to pop to Sainsbury's. We've just done like loads of missions today and then we're going to go to the house now, see what the builders are doing. And then we have to go to Tops Tiles to buy some more tiles and then go back to the house to drop them off later on. But we've just got a whole day full of like fun activities planned, haven't we Jess? Yep. Um, yesterday was my birthday and um, Happy just... birthday. <laughs> it's so funny. And he surprised me with a meal. I literally got like ready to go to B and Q to go and look at wall lights. We actually still need to go to B and Q at some point by the way today. Um, I got all ready and as we like walked out of the flat, my uncle and my cousin were like parked up, like just pulled up on the road and I was like what? I was really confused and basically my uncle was dropping my cousin off and just organised like a nice little dinner with my cousin so that was really nice and we had Italian food again second time yeah. this week <laughs> um, but it was really good food a really fun night and we ended it with like limoncello shots so that was really good but yeah, and you got now lucky we just because have loads of stuff when they brought the cake out at the end you know when the waiters bring out the cake they've got me a tiramisu yeah, yeah it wasn't even a cake but um, she got lucky because I know she gets mortified if it's like really embarrassing you know, I loads would of people have been there. mortified but luckily there was nobody in the oh, restaurant got, yeah, and not, it was like just really funny. <laughs> It wasn't much more, you know, I wanted everyone to like, you know, look around at you and <laughs> that would be but, funny. Yeah, but yeah, I got very lucky with that actually. I think there might, be, might have been a couple of people behind me, but um, I didn't turn around. Yeah, it wasn't noisy as normal, you know, you expect noisy, like the, you know, with the massive music on, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it was good, it was good. You were lucky. It was very good. Anyway, let's go to the house now because it's like almost 1.30 and um, time is ticking on. We have to go to Top Stars before we close at five and buy some more spotlights. Ow! and pick up my glasses at some point. We've got a lot to do. We also popped into Sainsbury's and did a little bit of a food shop, so I hope the stuff doesn't go off in the boot because it is like 22 oh, degrees it's today. It's like an oven there, yeah. It is, it's really hot today. Okay, so we just come to the house, we're about to leave, and this is the colour that I chose for the downstairs toilet. I'm not sure that he's got the brush marks right, but I do really like this colour, and it's called Warm Taupe. It's 
chalk wash paint by Rustolium. Tops tiles, as unhelpful as ever. <laughs> we have to like load all these tiles into our car and we have a boot full of stuff. Basically, we picked up some more paint, we've got some more like spotlights, all this stuff. And um, it's a bit of a nightmare to be honest, isn't it? I haven't vlogged all day. Bloody hell, our car has been weighed down by tiles so many times, but we've just had to pick up a few more for our bathroom because we didn't buy enough last time. And you know what? I take back everything I've said about being cute. I don't like being cute, but I don't like top styles so much more. In fact, we went to being cute earlier and the lady was like semi helpful, first time for everything. But the women in top styles and the two men that work in this store, they're just so rude, so unhelpful, and just they've got the worst customer service, haven't they? The last time we went they've in, they've got no service. Yeah, they've got, right. they've got no customer service anyway. They're like robots. They really, they really are. Nice, huh? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, just, I don't like tops tiles, but unfortunately, um, we were at the, like, unfortunately there's like a clearance outlet store in Wembley. So we kind of discovered it online and we've bought a lot of our tiles from there just because it's a lot cheaper. They have like mixed batches of tiles, but hopefully it should be okay. So yeah, we have to travel quite a bit further out just to get them, but we save a bit yeah. of money, you know, but they're just very annoying. Um, and because of their mistake last time, they didn't explain something to me properly that you get the trims for the tiles in different widths. They just told me to pick a color. So I did because why would I know? Um, I've obviously bought the wrong size, so... Yeah. Well, they're, they're so now we have to go back. It's just a mission coming all the way to Wembley as well, all the time, but um, so that's on our list of things to do tomorrow. What were you saying? Yeah, I said the slogan should be top tiles with bottom service. <laughs> <laughs> Great marketing campaign, Jas. Anyway, we have been on the go since... We left the house at 9 a.m. Oh my God. Okay, so now it is... 5 p.m. We are taking our tiles. We're going back to the house for the second time, dropping off the tiles and the paints and the lights and all the rest of it, and then hopefully meeting the painter there to just discuss a few things. And then we're going to head home and call it a day for today. Just had a good old chat with the builder. He's gone. We're waiting for the painter decorator to come. And I was trying to show you the guys this earlier. It's very hard because there's nothing for it to focus on again. But <laughs> this is the paint for our downstairs toilet. In fact, this is the name of it. It's a Rustoleum chalk wash paint in the shade Warm Taupe. So the first coat has to be done with a roller, like normal, I guess. And the second coat has to be done with a brush. I'm not 100% satisfied. That's what it's meant to look like. I asked the guy just to paint just behind here, which is where the radiator is going to go, because the builder wanted to put that up today. He's now going to do it tomorrow. <sighs> it was quite difficult to explain because I myself have never done this, so it's a struggle for me too. Never mind for somebody that doesn't really understand me very well. So um, I'm just going to go through it with him again when he turns up in a bit and maybe have a go at it myself. I've got a booklet which explains a bit better than the YouTube video. So hopefully that's all good. Oh, we need to wrap this boiler up, Jess. Like that, yeah? Is that yeah, it? yeah, like that. Okay. It's, it's fine. I'm, uh, but look, I'm not trying to talk you out of it, are you? Yeah. But just, look, but, but then it... It kind of looks like this when it's flush, like this. Like... Yeah, yeah, I get it. I think like it's yeah. like a glass. Yeah, you might as well go for the Oh my God, look, these are my beautiful tiles. Wait, you can't, yeah, that's what I mean. He, he won't be able to do any work in here. Oh, look, they've taken them all off because um, they were in the wrong pattern. <laughs> wow. Oh, yes, yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Wow. Thank you so much, yeah. Oh, it's washed up, yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, that's really yeah, good. You, you probably reuse them, yeah. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. wow, that's really good, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for that. Yeah, don't Thank know. you. Uh, send me the picture. Send you the picture? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I've sent it to him downstairs, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Okay, 
we're just leaving to go get the builders some snacks and some drinks and um oh my god we were so lucky we just went to the house now yeah, because lucky. they put the tiles on in the wrong pattern and i did have this conversation with the builder a few weeks ago but i think he'd forgotten so he felt really bad and he offered to pay for the tiles but luckily the tilers said it hadn't set yet so they managed to like pull them all off the walls and wash them down and they're gonna like put them back on but that was so lucky that we saw it when we did because i thought the builder was having me on he was like no they've done them in a star pattern i was like that's not what i wanted um, so yeah anyway should we just go to like, sainsbury's or somewhere yeah, we'll left to go left oh my god my tiles are in and the downstairs toilet they look really good i asked for brick effect i'm happy with this are you mm, yeah really good oh really cool it's so good Oh yeah. Wow. Hold on, it's a complete madhouse in here. We've got Tyler's upstairs, Jeff and I have got to the house. It is Saturday today. We're actually on our way to our friend's house for not a barbecue, but oh god, we're just having drinks in his garden because he's like created a whole bar area during lockdown, which is really cool. But the builder has left the tilers in the house today, so we just came to sort of have a look and make sure there was no like disasters like yesterday. <laughs> um, there always was one, like sometimes I don't want people's opinion, I just want what I want done. So that's a bit tricky. What are you laughing at? Oh, snacks. I thought they finished the snacks off, but they obviously got stuck on. <laughs> we bought, let me show them. <laughs> There's like, literally no way to put my phone or my keys or anything, but hold on. Oh God, can I walk around here without killing myself and getting dusty? <laughs> we bought the builders a whole carrier bag full of snacks yesterday. They asked us to get them some coke and we went a little bit overboard, but there's like cookies, chocolate. There is um, blueberry muffins in there as well. Also, they obviously haven't finished them because that is a lot of food, I guess. But there was four of them in the house yesterday. So anyway, um, my tiles downstairs are looking very good, but we have a lot of spares left over. I don't really want to go back to Top's tiles because I absolutely can't stand them. They're so annoying in there. But we've just um, got the keys back off our neighbour because um, we've kind of put a pause on the painting with him for now. Anyway, because he just needs a clear house to paint in. Like, he can't be moving the stuff around in the midst of painting. It's a bit of a joke at the moment. So um or we carry on with him maybe at some point or get somebody else in. Anyway, 20 past three, I need to go and order some tiles. Don't tell them. <laughs> I think it's arriving on Monday. Yeah. And um, yeah, then we're gonna go to our friend's house for uh, drinks, which will be so nice because it's a really nice and sunny day. Oh, my neighbor's outside hanging up her laundry to dry. Oh my God, we own a garden. Still can't get over that fact, you know? Anyway. Oh my god, there's so much stuff here, so, oh my god, be really careful of those, they're just glass bowls, my lights, um, and so, it's a bit tricky to walk around, but I can't even really get there, can I, without getting all dusty, that's my vanity unit that I bought ages ago, you guys might remember it from the vlog back in March, maybe, I don't even know, but, um, I'm really happy with the colour of it, I never actually opened it up to check, I had a sneak little peek just to match up some tiles but i'm happy with oh bloody hell yeah we really, really really like this color it's like faux concrete which is oh, bloody, hell. bloody hell which is great and yeah so in fact the builders actually get changed here every night before they go home because they've got this wall to protect them so that's all their clothes here and um oh bloody <laughs> it's like health and safety you should not be wearing burks <laughs> on a building site like this but what was i gonna say so there's still quite a lot to do it's not gonna happen anytime soon you know i've just got this really bad feeling <sighs> sunday we're back at the house i don't think i've got much footage this week actually the builders aren't working today so jas and i decided to take about 24 hours this weekend off from just doing house stuff because to be honest we're just kind of just waiting for the builders to hurry up and finish and we're kind of wasting our lives away just 
just you know doing house stuff at the moment so we thought we'd make the most of it and we've just spent the day in Windsor we just walked around the castle grounds and like all the parks along the river saw some swans we went out for drinks last night at our friend's house and we met some really fun people um a little bit hungover today actually <laughs> what's that Trunking. oh well it says we hit it anyway so it should be fine Oh, right, okay. But, um, anyway, hold yeah. on, let me... So, I don't really know what's happened yet. I actually need to call the builder back in a bit, but, um, I'm not sure what's happened here. So, yeah, anyway, like I was saying... Oh, God, I can't step anywhere. We went to a friend's house for dinner yesterday, and I think we got there about 4 o'clock. We were there till 12.30, 1 a.m. Very, very drunk. We did Sambuca and tequila shots. I've not drank like that since, for years actually, I haven't done shots for years, have I? Mm. Um, well before COVID, in fact, that's probably my second, third, fourth, fifth drink of the year. I've only had one drink um, prior to that this year, so it was a fun night though, but kind of feeling it today. Anyway, we're just going to check out what's going on at the house, and I'll show you if there's any progress. I mean, it doesn't really look like much, as, does it, Jess? It doesn't really look like much has happened at all. Getting there. <laughs> we say getting there in every video. Yeah, as in like, it's, I just it just looks like it's a mess that looks clean. Most of it's like builder stuff, really. So it looks like, if you think here, they're just tools and things, really. Hmm. I mean, every time we come to this house, the bookcase has been moved and I'm just so worried that they haven't lifted and they've been dragging it instead. These are my coat hooks. Oh, Jesus. The thing is, the builders tell me to bring everything ASAP, but it just sits here gathering dust. So I don't really know why. So we've fed some cables through here. Oh, so uh, is that the ones that went under the ground? No, no these are the ones from here. So <laughs> what it is, you've got HDMI cables coming from here, these ones, right? Right. And they're kind of feeding from the back to here, coming out, so... Oh, so you don't so see them hidden. behind the TV, basically. Yeah, so technically this will be, should be clean, or this bit, so mm. TV's here, and then you've got the stuff mm. on that, yeah. Okay, anyway. Um, we need to establish what's happened to the downstairs toilet, actually, because the guy... To paint it, but he hasn't done the corners, has he? These yeah. ain't been done yet. No, this hasn't been done. So it needs finishing. Hmm. But I'm not sure he's meant to finish that. Because no, it's not actually a final it's coat. It's not focusing on, it. on anything. There's no final coat on this yet. No, we definitely need to do a final coat. Maybe two more coats. But um. But we could do that. I, I, I want to paint the brush strokes myself. Yeah, I think it's just the edges I need somebody else to do. So let's just speak to the builder. But let's go upstairs and check out my toilet. No, tiles. I think the builder just wants us to do this bit so you can put the radio and finish all the sink stuff for your toilet. Yeah. This bit can be done afterwards, but anything at the top. Yeah, but I, if I'm doing it myself, I prefer to paint when it's an empty shell. I know professionals don't obviously care if there's a toilet and a radiator and stuff to cover up, but to me, that's just more hassle. So if I'm doing it myself, I'd rather just do it first, I think. Oh my god, my tiles are in! <laughs> they look really good. Hold on, Jess, can I just film right here? Yeah. They look so good! And the floor tiles are down, but they're using the old carpet, I assume, to basically protect them. But this is the pièce de résistance. Look at that. What a beauty. I'm so obsessed with these. I've just filmed a couple of Insta stories, so I can't remember if I showed you this. I think I did. Really, really happy with the way this has turned out. It's a shame that we've uh, wasted a lot of money because of their error. I'm not sure if you guys really understood what happened a few days ago, but Jas and I randomly turned up at the house and the builders were here and they had two guys tiling. And the builder, we were just downstairs talking and he was like, oh, you wanted them in like a star pattern, didn't you? And I was like, haha, you're so funny. Like we had this conversation a few weeks ago. And he's like, no, I'm not joking. I was like, what? I thought he was having me on. So we were like, oh my God. So we all ran upstairs and they had tiled like more than half the wall, I think, in the wrong pattern and I just looked horrified and straight away the builder was like do you know what it's my mistake because he realized that we did have this conversation and he was like I completely forgot and luckily they were able to like salvage most of the tiles because they hadn't like dried yet they weren't like properly glued on so the guys basically spent the rest of the day I think like pulling them back off the walls and washing them before all the 
adhesive or whatever sticks to them i don't really know how it works and um they've salvaged a lot of them but they have wasted a lot and so um <laughs> the builder did say that if they can't salvage them he it's his mistake right so he'd have to pay to replace them but i think they've salvaged most of them and we're basically going to end up paying for this mistake because let me show you doorstoppers <laughs> anyone want any doorstoppers <laughs> not really they're for the tiles they are the spaces uh, anyway so um <laughs> this is all the wastage and it's and so like see this one it's been cut like the bottom bit has been cut off but if i take you back round to the bathroom so far they haven't had to cut them in that way because they've been like using halves this way if that makes any kind of sense so it's a little bit annoying because these tiles are obviously very expensive like i keep saying um in comparison to something like this which is very basic and yeah i'm a little bit annoyed about that <laughs> Sorry, just <laughs> we're like trying to get past each other in the hallway. What is that? Your 360 camera? Yeah, I'm just doing a 360. Am I in it? Vlogging yeah. you? All oh, right, no, great. Right. Okay. Anyway, so there's a lot of wastage here. There's a few whole tiles here which they're saving because I think the problem with tiles is you have to get all of them at the same time. If they're slightly different batches, they might be different shades, slightly off, and that is probably what's gonna to happen to us. So it's really annoying, I hope it's not noticeable. So I'll show you, for example, this was a sample tile from ages ago when I ordered samples, and I need like a third hand. Hold on a second. It may not pick up on camera. So I bought this round for the tilers yesterday. And he was like, oh, we have one extra. And I was like, do you know what? It's a slightly different shade. <laughs> you can probably really see it here. This is much brighter. And obviously it's the same tile, same brand. It's just a different batch. And so <laughs> that might happen with the rest of our tiles, which is really annoying. So he said that he probably won't use this one and hopefully the rest of the batches are the same. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm not hopeful that it will look good. And... For some reason they can't start at the top because i said if you put like the different batch ones at the bottom nobody will really notice because that's not in your eye line so yeah i'm really like peed off about that to be honest but i just have to trust that it will work and it will look good in the end because it's out of my control really you know so like we said a few days ago we've put a pause on the painting because they're obviously cutting the tiles here which creates a lot of dust and there's no point in like wasting paint wasting money and wasting time <laughs> if all the dust is going to stick in the walls but this one they're using for cutting tiles this is like their storage slash dumping ground which isn't great and um i have no idea what's going on in here actually but they obviously need all this space to do all the stuff that they have to do so yeah unfortunately the painting has to be paused oh actually they're um mixing the adhesive here and my beautiful fair and ball paints are getting very dusty. Oh. oh god, bloody hell. Anyway, one thing I wanted to check. Oh god, they've still got so much work to do. I thought they'd have made my bench by now, but they haven't. So that's a little bit irritating. And funnily enough, even the guy that was doing the painting for us, our next door neighbour, said that he could sand these doors down and paint them, but he was like, mm, there's probably no point because they are really battered. And I just think everyone um, has a point. They're not lying. It's true. Even my parents said the same thing. So, so yeah, these doors will have to go at some point. I've just realised the builders have put these back up. So... I don't know why, but they've started to tidy up, I guess. So that's quite a good thing. Anyway, let me go downstairs and see what's happened there. We're baffled about these. Oh, God. We're baffled about these doors. Um, I think they might have tried to tidy. Um, it's really hard to tell if this is them having tidied or not. I don't think it is. Oh, do you know what? One thing that really annoys me is all these tradespeople smoke in the house, which... You know what, for now it's fine because this is just an empty shell, but once we start decorating properly and stuff, I don't want people smoking in the house. There's also, I think, a guy that's been smoking in the garage and there's so many cigarette butts in there and I'm just like, can you just not? Is it that difficult to like stand outside and smoke? It's not even raining at the moment. Actually, let me show you, this is our garage. Look at this, like it just annoys me so much. Why are there so many cigarette butts all over the place? And like rubbish i need to clean this up but there's like nowhere for the wind to blow them because it's all blocked off and it's a proper garage that's been secured now no this is not a good sweep like it's all stored yeah but i mean maybe it's like relaxing it's not relaxing 
Would they do it in their own garage? Probably not. All of this is underlay um, for the carpets and bits of the carpet, and that's going back in our house. So I don't want this to all smell of smoke as well. I mean, if it's salvageable, it's very dusty because obviously it's been in the house for quite some time. We think our neighbour has a cat and Jas is obsessed with it. There we go. loves our house oh my god she's not running away now she is so the reason we've been spraying bleach here is because there's like loads of stuff growing on this awful pebble dash at the back of the house and we thought we'd try and kill it and hopefully it's all cleaned up by the time we move in i don't know but that's what the builder told us to do anyway so hopefully it works and hopefully it looks good ish for pebble dash <laughs> in the end i mean i don't know i don't think you can ever really make pebble dash look pretty but you know okay we did a little experiment and we walked away to see if the cat would come back and it has and now we're really worried that there's some mice in our house in the pipes because why else would the cat be obsessed with this area do you know what i mean that's really scary jess so look the cat's run away now but it's still here because it obviously wants to come back once we've gone. So, um, I can't hear anything. But, I'm yeah, but. Um, there's a rat in there or something. I wonder, <gasps> what the, what you need to get some rat poison or something. Be, be in there. No, because this drain pipe is new. It used to be on the other side. This one? Yeah. Oh, but this bit's new. It is new, yeah. And this whole thing is new, Jas, because that's from. That is new. Jas, this whole thing is new because that's from the toilet. Okay, if anyone has a cat, and you could probably help us with this. That's really terrifying, because actually the builder was just telling us about how rats and mice can get in, and as somebody that's never owned a house before, we were really freaked out. And then last night we had the same conversation about um, how there was a squirrel in somebody's bedroom, and it fell out of a light fitting on the ceiling, so that is terrifying. Anyway. What did you do? I want to tap over there, yeah, Let's see what the cat does. He was tapping the drain pipe thing. <laughs> the downstairs toilet and anyway we haven't got to the bottom of the cat drama I really really hope we don't have rats mice squirrels anything else that has more than two legs even things with two legs whatever that may be humans fox. humans in this house no foxes Foxes, fox eye, foxes, I think What's is the plural. <laughs> What's the plural? Anyway, they have four legs. Anyway, I just don't want any, anything living in this house apart from me, Jas, and our plants. <laughs> not yet, anyway, not the plants. Um, that's really terrifying. We literally had this conversation with our friends last night about how she had squirrels in her roof and she was renting, and then one night the squirrel just fell out of the ceiling light, mm. down the lampshade and all over her room and it took her nine months it, to be able to get rid of the squirrels. All night in the baklava. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it ate all her m and baklava. Oh my god, owning a house is just a nightmare isn't it? I, well, I bet that cat is still there. Yeah, the, no, that cat knows something that we don't. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. We're going to go home and call it another week. Week 11, I want to say. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week for ne uh, renovation week 12, 13, whatever we're on. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.